Welcome to Salento with Love. I'm David Mengoli and I'm Monica. I'm Dan. Wow, it's great. And we are on top of an amazing roof and we've just witnessed an incredible sunset. Yes, yes we did. Col really colors cool. are incredible. Um, I think for anyone that's traveled to gorgeous. North Africa or places like mm -hmm. that, and probably that a combination of red and browns and pinks that they're all come together. Absolutely amazing. On our first morning here, um, we woke up, uh, we looked to see what time the sun would rise and we woke up and came up on the roof and uh, watched the sun um, come up over the church where the angels are and it was just, it was gorgeous. So wow. that was how we spent yeah, our first day. Backlit the angels on top of the church next door. And we just knew that that like we'd made the right choice. Yeah. But you didn't buy a roof terrace, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not just the roof terrace. Well, I feel like, you know, they wouldn't call this a palazzo, but I do, because it's gorgeous. Well, I think it's it is good. a palazzo. And I, 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 Dan, you got me scared on Saturday morning, because he arrived on Friday, and the uh, first time that we met was on Monday, actually. So uh, you're extremely independent. Very good. <laughs> uh, not everybody's like that, so that uh, purchase a property remotely. Yes, because you did purchase remotely. But uh, on Sunday morning, you got me scared because you sent me a text message saying you didn't mention or you missed this in your walkthrough. And then you follow it up with a photograph. But uh, you used a little emoji of like almost being upset. Oh, yeah. and I thought, what did I miss? <laughs> and what did I miss? Well, there is a basement apartment that's not been developed yet. And there's a lot of Gar let's say garbage, but yeah. refuge down there. And I peeled back a piece of plastic that is about eight feet high. And I could see this little car uh, like carve out in the wall. Uh -huh. a niche. And I looked more, I turned the flashlight on and there is a fresco that is clearly hundreds of years old. And I my, it took my breath away, literally. Yeah. I mean, it's probably not the, it's not a masterpiece, but all I know is I now own a fresco from hundreds of years ago that's on a wall that I didn't even know when I bought the place. And I was I was just floored when I saw it. That's, yeah. that's... It, it's absolutely amazing. I took another look at it yesterday. Um, so it's, it's gorgeous. Well, I don't know how I missed that, but anyway, probably because, yes, there was a lot of stuff piled up yeah, in front of it. In fact, if I remember correctly, when I did the walkthrough, I don't think I covered the downstairs no, or you, the you basement. No, you just kind of, because there's no light down there, so yes. it's impossible. And so I brought a headlamp and my flashlight. <laughs> so I was ready to explore. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I saw the art, like on an arch. And I'm like, I wonder what's behind there. And I peeled it back and I just saw that little cubby. And I looked more carefully and I'm like, Monica, you got to get over here and check this out. <laughs> and of course, the first thing I did was take a picture and send it to you and say, hey, I think you missed something <laughs> on this yeah. walkthrough. Wow. Yeah. That was amazing. That whole thing ground floor is amazing like i've been thinking about like i can't wait to explore it because it was dark when you you tried to go back to a couple rooms it's absolutely amazing and the, the history of the place starts at the ground floor right and then it just builds up from there and so yes. it makes you wonder all the things that were going on and the families that lived the changes. there changes all of that so and dan and i are I'm, our history buffs and he's a history major i love history i'm a school teacher so like just learning new things is um something that we really enjoy doing now everybody talks about how difficult and bureaucratic the system in italy is when it comes to buy a property it could take months sometimes years if you get stuck into a situation and it is true sometimes it happens to me as well um but it is a very complicated sometimes system. Now, what's it like to be able to land at the airport, pick up a car and drive to your house, put a code in and arrive in a property that it's already yours, the title is in your name and you didn't go through any of what yeah. everybody has to go okay. through when it comes to purchase a property. I would use the word giddy, just so excited. like the countdown was okay it's two more days it's two, it's one more day we're here oh my god we're 30 seconds away like we're going to drive up um it was just absolutely amazing to have it all ready to go for us and it's you know we don't live in new york where it's you know maybe a seven hour flight we live in california so it's twice that and we can't we can't afford to fly over back and forth and i honestly don't think it's possible to buy a property without your services we couldn't have done it um, no. We could have navigated the bureaucracy. We couldn't afford to make all the trips that would have been required to do it. 
Um, I think you can kind of find a property on all the different property sites, but the power of attorney and the process that we went through um, made it painless, essentially, but also made it possible because without you guys, it Absolutely. was not possible. Like you we laid it all it. out step by step and then we would do it. And then back on our end in, in California, um, you know, Dan works from home. So he was able to spend the time needed to do the emails or to go to the different places that we needed to go to, to take care of our end of it and just, you know, take care of it. And I was just amazed at how everything just fell into place. It just kept going. You know? Right. Well, you, you said something interesting because I would like to say that I have pioneered and now I can officially say that, I am the creator of remote purchasing. Um, now, purchasing a property in Italy, there is hundreds of people or foreign people that purchase properties uh, probably on a daily basis all over Italy. Mm -hmm. And they all succeed. So I don't think I have any special powers when it comes to help or assist people in purchasing a property. But purchasing remotely, uh, for me, means that I take on a huge burden or responsibility because matching your expectations with the actual property it's probably the hardest thing i find that the bureaucracy and the paperwork well that's something that you need to do anyway mm -hmm. and uh, knowing what you're doing obviously makes it uh, easier um, but how do you feel about the actual property and the process of us meeting up the first time having a consultation and then the actual property that you ended up with Wonderful. So, but I'm wearing a different jacket, <laughs> but we're still it's still the three of us. Nothing yes, has so changed. Nothing. It's just we just like to change the scene. Yes, Gloria's glad to know. Galatina, excuse me. Oh yes, we've just changed from your roof terrace to uh, a the... bustling Galatina. Yeah, it's just fantastic just actually. Let's turn the camera around. There's nice kids wandering around. But the question's still the same. How, what, how did you feel about the property when you got here? I mean, the whole thing about getting it remotely and closing this, the whole process without ever actually seeing the property in real. Right. Well, I mean, I think the video itself was extremely comprehensive. So, I mean, I felt like, and we studied that video and the, uh, the subsequent videos that you did, we studied them like dozens and dozens and dozens of times. Yeah. And the fact is, is that we had so many, uh, such a long list of criteria to buy a place. And this place checked every single box, which I thought was kind of impossible. But when we got here, it, it was exactly as advertised. It was exactly, you know, we'd studied the video so carefully, we slowed it down. And every part of the house was as magical as we thought it was going to be, and it was in the video. And the, and the process was like really easy. You guys had to put up the key box, the lock box, so like the keys were there, was like ready to go. Um, you delivered the, some of the things that we'd asked for. Turn so the heat like, on yeah, so that we didn't oh, freeze. The, heat, <laughs> the house was nice and toasty, warm. Um, so yeah, the whole process of coming over was was really easy. That, that first night when we walked into the house was just such a relief because we'd been traveling for 24 hours and then just to come to home to a cozy, home it was ready to go it was great it is great now you've you've been here a week you're leaving tomorrow so from the video that we started a few days ago a few days have passed and uh, you are leaving tomorrow but you're coming back how do you feel about the staying and the whole process the whole thing how do you feel about Salento? Well, we, oh. we love Salento. We love the kids. Yeah. We love the kids. Got the chicks. Uh -huh. We got we got some we got some spectators here. Right. <laughs> um, and the bells and we in the, the background. Bells too. <laughs> oh, magic. Um, well, I mean, this out this was just a, a meet and greet for the house, and we come back in June with our kids, um, and we are super excited. Um, because we love this area of Italy. We do. We love the beaches, we love the summers here. Um, and we, and the house is just perfect. We've traveled to a that. lot of different places in and around Italy and in Sicily and have found the people in the Salento to be so warm and um, so I'm just, friendly. yeah, so friendly and just like willing to come out and talk with you. So that was, that was important to us uh, to feel that we might be accepted into the community, you know? Wow. 
Well, anyway, all I want to say is thank you very much because uh, you know doing a testimonial for for uh, for the channel it's it's quite important. I don't ask many people to do it, but thank you very much for yes, volunteering and offering it. And uh, you've got an amazing, amazing property. I think um, a great job was done by the previous owner, and you've probably got a fantastic task ahead of you to just enhance it and uh, and enjoy it with the rest of the family. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a turnkey that's ready to be lived in, and the, the unique part of it is is that it's so big that we can have our children, we can have our friends, not be on top of one another. Um, so it's a really special property. So, so. And, and it was because Salento with Love was able to put it all together for us. And so thank you. Thank you. Well, thank so you. safe journey home thank tomorrow. You. And I can't wait to have you back here in Salento. For anyone who's following the channel, subscribe to the channel and press the little bell. And what do I say at the end of my videos? Stay safe. <laughs> Stay safe wherever you are yes it can happen to me missing a fresco from five centuries ago when you're walking through a house well you know there is so much there that sometimes please forgive me forgive me uh what can i say you now own a property with a fresco going back to the 15th century sorry i missed that in a walkthrough but i'm glad you got the property